What's going on, guys? Jimmy with Microbiogro coming at you again with uh, the end of this compost. Uh, this uh, end of this compost uh, pile that we've been tracking for a while now. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look and uh, see a couple of organisms that we have. We're not doing a full assessment right now, but um, we just want to see what we find, and uh, you know, and we'll go on from there. But uh, I'm going to get right into it. So right away, um, we saw a minute ago. There we go. We got a nematode action happening right off the bat, um, which is nice. So uh, we're gonna look at this. Maybe we can give you a better look closer. There we go. You see how I was talking about the soil suspension, the solution, the suspension. Wow, look at that. And you even got like a, there's like a micro arthropod body right there. Uh, it's not alive anymore, but you can really see its whole body right here. It's like the soil mite. It could be like hypoapsis miles or something because I thought I saw that a minute ago. But that's pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, look at that. You can see its arms. It's got one, two, three, four arms on each side. And it looks like it's a fungal eater because that's what these big flaps usually mean. Um, they got these big petty pads or something. I think that's what Dr. Elaine said once. Uh, but really crazy. It's like, you know, and you got, oh, you got two nematodes happening here. This is why we like biologically complete compost because there's all sorts of fun stuff. Look at this. It's fully alive. We got two nematodes happening in the same shot and they are going crazy. Um, we're not drilled down all the way. I am just in, uh, to make a note, I'm only at 100x. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna really see what we find here. Um, just to get a good peek of that microarthropod body while I have it there. That's pretty awesome. It's nice and crisp. Um, and the color in this sample, it's you know got that fulvic color. You a lot of humic acid here. Um, that's looking cool. This is already a pretty exciting sample. Um, so if we keep drilling down, it looks like that that's a test data maybe over there too. So um, I'll have to drill down some more to really tell. And maybe we can, I might be able to, I'll, I'll potentially slow down. Oh, is that another one? There's three nematodes, look at this. Is that what that is? Is it moving? No, I'm sorry. All right, don't get too excited. So um, we do have the two moving. There's obviously some filamentous organism down there. I can kind of see it as I scroll around. Uh, if I can try and catch like a still later, I'll, I'll go through this and frame by frame. We'll try and see what we see there. Maybe we'll even find the body of this guy who got chopped up. Um, that dude there, that's awesome. What a great image. Very cool, right? So, um, there you go. It's a really crisp image of that microarthropod. You can see how it like, you know, like I always talk about it. Yeah, think about this stuff like it's a, like it's a reef, you know, um, like you're looking at a coral reef because they're like swimming around at different levels here. And you can see that soil suspension as they kind of move around, they kind of move everything about. That's why those nematodes are so great. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll drill down here and see what we got. Looks like we're going to get something better here. Let's see. All right. There we go. He is moving. There looks like I got a couple, like maybe a shot or two. There'll be like a frame or two in there where I think I'll be able to grab, you know, I'll grab something. Uh, some of them eat whatever comes into their mouth. Other ones are really specific, depending on the kind. Oh, here's that other guy. He slowed down for a second. We get a good shot. And bacterial feeder. It looks like it is a bacterial feeder. Very cool. <laughs> All right, we got a bacterial feeder and that other one could potentially be the same thing. We don't know exactly, we have to look, but you can see his, you know, he slowed down, took a break. But you can see he's got two, he's got a median bulb and a terminal, and he's got that heart valve and 
straight stoma. He's just, that's a bacterial feeder right there. And you see all this bacteria in his, you know, in his lower intestine, because this is where his intestine starts and he comes down and through. So this could be a female, that's potentially an egg, but I can't tell, we might be looking through them. It looks like a bacterial feeder too. I thought I just saw the same uh, terminal, bulb. oh yeah. And you can see the terminal bulb pumping away. Yeah, I, I'd call that, that's a bacterial feeder as well. I think you can see that going. Um, this guy is just, he's eating all that bacteria and that, it, it, all, all the bacteria in this like soup. It's what it really is that he lives in. It's like a soup. So um, those are two, <laughs> that's, that's not bad stuff there right away. All right, compost. So that's pretty cool. So let's see, we can uh, we can even zoom out further. This shot's not great. Wow, but as you can see here, we got all sorts of nematodes, which is what you wanna see. So that's exciting stuff. We got them down there. You see one moving there. Great, oh she's sorry, so clumsy. Oh, there's another one over here. There's one here, there's one here. The other two were up here. We just moved down from. We got them all over the place. So that is fantastic. That's very exciting stuff. Um, look, more there. That's tons of nematodes. Holy smacks. Here we go. More. Keep going. There's those two that we found earlier in that macroarthropod, or microarthropod. I think he's a macro. Look, we'll just keep going. There's more there. There's an air bubble there we just passed. We got more there. Look at them all, all over the place. Holy smokes. That's fantastic stuff. That's great. We'll check that none of those are root feeders and we'll track those up. We got another uh, macro arthropod moving around in this sample. Look at him, he's stuck over here on his aggregate. And uh, wow, this stuff is just cranking along. Look at that guy. He is not dead. He is moving, <laughs> but as you can see, look at how alive this sample is. We got stuff going on all over and we haven't even drilled down to see the bacteria yet, but these aren't bad things. Look at him, he's all caught up there. So he might've gotten caught in a trap or a web or whatever. Let's see if we can take, see him a little bit closer here. These guys are crazy. Look at this thing. Uh, he's coming at me. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that guy. Maybe we can get entomologists out there to uh, throw down, let us know exactly what he is. If you're able to tell us, that'd be pretty cool. But you can see him, they, they also, they feed on these bacteria and depending on what, they might be fungal feeders, like a lot of times. They're fungal feeders. Um, it looks like he's the same kind as that other one that lost its head or lost its body, not its head. But he's awesome. Very cool. Wow, look at him go. He's chowing down. Those are fungal spores right there. They just moved out of the way. There's some more over here. It's just some fungi. They're these guys are just they move the soil solution around they move around everything that's non-modal the things that can't move on their own these guys they it winds up sticking to them and they drag it through you know so they spread those spores around like these fungal spores will get stuck or something i mean you can see he's like moving around in a solution and as he keeps moving like this chain of spores or this one and it can break them up and let the the two spores go together you know different directions. you see that's like kind of what's going on here is a little brown spore so uh you know these are relatively big too because we're a 200 mag so those are those are you know, good to see. Whoa, we got something else going on over here. I don't know if he's trying to eat that guy. I'm not even sure what that was, but it looks like it went in. <laughs> Look, this is like a piece of cellulose here. He's just like, this dude is just nuts. So great uh, stuff so far. Just we're looking at all the macro stuff. We haven't even gotten to the to the smaller stuff, but those those the, you know those macro predator and. You know, the uh, definitely, definitely something to watch. Look 
at him go. As he, as he fumbles around and makes his way through the solution. And there it looks like he's heading off. Really great shot. You can see so much of him and what's going on there, how he works. But he just, you know, connects you to that, to that soil. That's just great. That's great stuff. Um, so let's uh, drill down for a second here. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's look down in here. As you can tell now, like compost is fully alive. It has all, like there's so many creatures going on if you have a proper compost pile happening. So um, you can see all this different stuff in here. You know, you got fungal spores happening. This looks like, you know, like a canidia spore or something. You got the other fungi spores in here. You got this nematode going nuts every which way, <laughs> every which way. You know, they rip through some of these filamentous organisms and they just keep breaking this. Uh, sorry, so the dog went crazy and then I had to kind of cut that short. But you can see in this pile that we actually have been tracking this entire time. And now we have all, we've created all of these, you know, grown these creatures. Um, <clears throat> when you're looking at maybe a couple of my other videos where I'm showing you some microscopy work, like some of these compost piles and whatever, don't have nearly any of that. And even these commercial, you know, these commercially bought bags, uh, they don't even come close. So, um, like I've been trying to say, the proof is in the pudding and you can see for yourself. Um, I, I wasn't kidding. You can see how many and all these organisms and the amount of organisms that are in there. Um, you know, it's wild animals in there. So um, that's what we're trying to do with compost. So when you're looking down at compost and you know, <clears throat> you're, you, you don't need to know too much to know how many organisms are in there uh, kind of buzzing around. So um, I guess we'll wrap it up with that. But um, exciting stuff. We still have some more microscopy work to do on that pile. Like we only looked at the top stuff and uh, I got interrupted and I <laughs> The dog got me and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't finish. So we're, we're gonna pull another sample anyway. We continue to track and uh, we'll show you what else we find and we'll show you some fun stuff, um, you know, along the way otherwise. But uh, thanks for watching, Jimmy with Microbio. Uh, hit that subscribe and uh, thanks again, we'll see you.